Hey, good Wednesday hot afternoon, YouTube. We're up to the log cabin rent lodge and shooting range. And we're going to give you a walkthrough of this old cabin that my grandfather built in 1959 that we try to keep up and running. Had some problems last week. I got up here and did a little work on it. But this is basically going to be a review of... Uh, I bought some more of that Vivor floor. I've had it on different... Uh, couple different places I did a video in my garage I figured just about the cheapest way to put down in here what I need to keep us going say so at some point this old girl is slowly sinking into the ground but I'll give you a quick walk through in here say so he hauled all the logs down here out of the woods out back he had this pond put in had that pond put in uh, I had those reed dug out uh, six seven years ago and uh, we put the windmill in for the aeration, but we come up here on Friday nights, drink too much, <laughs> have a little fire over there. I got an outhouse I made, and we got music in here. I say, pardon the mess, this thing's totally tore up. I'll put some pictures on what happened underneath that floor, and I had to re. Uh, reshore it up but i think it's going to be about the last time but we got video we got internet up here from the house we got a uh, nice loud stereo computer we got running water from a natural spring out back that also feeds down to the house refrigerator say we got electric that runs up from the garage but uh i'll be back in a little bit and we get this uh, flooring going and we'll see if we can get this put back together Okay, we got some of these boxes opened up. We're gonna let the air get to them, let them swell up a little bit. Man, it's hot up here. But, uh, say hopefully this will go down as nice as it did in the garage, and uh, it'll be an easy way to, easy floor to just sweep out up here. I had just a bunch of old rugs down here. We used to have a pellet stove over there in the corner, and, uh, I think I'm just going to rig up one of those little diesel heaters up here for as often as we use it. And that way I can mount it in a, a rack up above. So it'll save me some more floor space in here. Because this is uh, 11 by 19 in here. And then we got the nice porch out here. But we'll be back. Hey folks, we're back. Now it's Saturday morning. We're up here. I guess we're going to put some floor in today. This has been sitting up here for a couple days. Haven't made it up. Had a golf cart break down, so I was messing with moving that around. But uh, beautiful morning up here. Try to get some of this in before it gets too hot. I see the night crew did nothing. I still got four full boxes here. <laughs> so first thing we got to do is get out of here what we can get out of here so we can start. And that's going to be a bit. We'll get cleaned up a bit. We'll get the computer on. Maybe get a little music going or a movie in the background. And uh, we'll be back. Okay. We're off and running. Got our first row down. Except for the cut end. Going to get uh, maybe three or four rows done. And then uh, we'll shuffle it around. See where we want to set. One thing I did learn on uh, putting this stuff in the garage. You got to leave a gap on both ends. I just did it on one end and... When I opened my garage door and the sun hit it, it had nowhere to go, and it buckled a little bit. I ended up running the roto zip down the front edge for the gap, so learn from my mistakes, folks. But this one, we're going to leave a generous gap, and that back side gets another one of those deck boards for just trim anyway to cover up the holes where you can see going outside. But like I said, what you see is what you get. So I'll show you how these just snap together real quick say these are warm these going to better or going together better since it's warm up here it was a little colder in the garage when i did it but i mean these basically you can just you can just press fit them and i've been doing four at a time and then just laying them down saves a little up and down so we're going to continue Whew. all right she's getting hot in here folks but starting to move some stuff around we're going to be close on uh, tile, but I think I got enough. If you look at, I don't know if you could tell from the video, but how crazy.
crooked this thing is because the way it's sinking in the side but it's got angles going everywhere you would not believe it but that floor over there is level the actual floor is level that's how far the corner's gone down but had to go down had to go down to the garage and find some old tin behind there to where the two levels come together and try to shim it up because you don't want to you want a good support under the joints on this stuff but we're going to keep on going the next next uh, clip you'll see it'll probably be when we got it all together and sweep uh, <laughs> sweeped out swept out and blown out so we'll see you in a bit all righty folks we got her all done got her cleaned up a little bit put our <laughs> i don't know if you call them trim boards or deck boards just to put it along the edge here looks like i gotta get some more great stuff in the back where i can see daylight coming in <laughs> but tv's working sink's good got the porch swept off got the barbecue grill out here got the steps fixed again one good thing about this cabin you look at this this will be leaning this way this week next week it'll probably be going the other way but <laughs> it's kind of funny it's like a fun house the way it's built but like i say that the back keeps sinking in there but at least we got our floor in and we can come up here and start using this again we ain't been, really haven't been up here this year I had to get rid of a bunch of birds nests and stuff but but that's the vivor floor same stuff i put in the garage like i say if you put it in just make sure you leave a good gap around the whole edge so when the, it really gets hot it uh it'll uh, have room to expand but have a good day folks